Hi, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Wednesday, September 16, 2011. Here's a brief summary of what we have going on the website today. But to see the entire articles, please go to www.phonescholar.com. And of course, any questions have them at blog questions at phonescholar.com. I do want to thank one particular person who decided to insult me on the uh, on the reply part. And um, let me tell you, I put the information out there. I try to give you as much as I can. I'm not always right. In fact, most of you know, I invite you to correct me if I'm wrong. But if you could be respectful, I would appreciate it. But if you get your jollies out of insulting me, then go ahead because I don't feel embarrassment. I don't feel guilt. I don't get insulted. There's nothing you can say that's going to insult me, so please, if it makes you feel better, feel free. That being said, here we go. Verizon 4G Voice Over LTE Demo. And Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and I'm sorry I am having to borrow these videos since I can't be in Spain, uh, got a hands-on demonstration from the Mobile World Conference of the actual Verizon 4G uh, call. So the, the, the 4G voice call, and it is a video, it's really cool, it looks, when he does it, it's a video call, uh, voice call, a video FaceTime call, and it's extremely seamless, and for those of you who are doing voice calls or voice chats over the iPhone or the other ones, you'll, you'll notice the jumpiness, this doesn't jump at all, it's really amazing, and when this thing comes to true fruition for everybody, it's going to be mind-blowing, so take a look at the demo, I think it'll really uh, impress you. Next, Apple's new App Store rules affect Amazon's Kindle. And yesterday, Apple uh, opened up subscriptions on their iTunes and on their App Store. And they are taking, now let's say, the subscriptions meaning ebooks, magazines, newspapers, things like that. For those companies that had icons or links on the actual uh, App Store, they have to disconnect the link to their direct site because Apple wants 30% of their subscription rate. Yep, they're taking 30% off the top of any prescription that these companies get. Now, of course, you can always bypass this by going through the web and going directly to these company sites and subscribing directly to them. But if you click on like the Amazon app on your iPad and go to eBooks to set up a subscription, if you do that, Apple's gonna take 30%. Actually, Amazon's killing the link, so you have to go through the iTunes store to do that. But again, if you go on the web and just go to amazon.com and do it that way, Amazon gets all the money, Apple gets nothing, so however you want to do it, but that's basically what Apple's setting up. So, there you go. Next, Motorola confirms Zoom to be sold for $7.99. And the other day, there was a, a, a screenshot of Best Buy setting up their pre-orders, which are supposed to start tomorrow, for the Motorola Zoom at $11.99. And basically, that $11.99 was just a placeholder for the ad. In fact, the ad's been taken off now. Uh, but at, uh, again, at the, M at the Mobile World Conference yesterday, the CEO of Motorola confirmed that the unactivated or the standard price for the 3G version is going to be $799 for the Zoom. The Wi-Fi version is going to be $600. And they have yet to announce if Verizon is going to subsidize these on contract. If they do, then you'll probably see them $499, $599, whatever it is. Now, remember, this is $70 more than the 32 gig iPad now. So it's not that outrageously expensive. But also remember, the Zoom is going to be 4G compatible. It's going to have a dual core processor. It's going to have honeycomb. So that actually you are getting some extra things for that $70. So take a look. Like I said, it should be on Best Buy tomorrow for pre-order. You can check it out and see yourself. Uh, next, Redbox launches suite of mobile and web tools. They put a new Android app on there, an upgraded iPhone app, and an enhanced website on Redbox, which is the video rental company that you see outside the 7-Elevens and everything. Um, I put links to all of these, all the apps, and the website itself. So you can see everything is free, all the apps and everything. So if you want to get movies on the go, stuff like that for your phones or for your tablets, here's a real good opportunity for that. So go ahead and check it out. Click on the links. I think you'll uh, see if it's worth it for you or not. Lastly, under categories, iPhone and Apple. How to transfer data from your old AT&T iPhone to your new Verizon iPhone. And it's very easy. It's a seven-step process. Basically, you, you plug in the old iPhone, the AT&T iPhone, click on iTunes, pulls out all the information, you plug the new one in, and there you go. But there's step-by-step -step instructions how to do that in the article. So uh, that'll be it. You know what? That's all I got for today. Not a huge news day. So have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.